Hey guys, welcome to the last video of this WordPress tutorial series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add your own custom short codes. This way you can create functions um, that are easily accessible by your clients if they, in order to obtain certain information they might want to put on their website. Uh, so I'm going to be using an example of um, generating a list of information that your customer would want to put or your client would want to put on the website. So since I work with a lot of fitness people, um, I'm going to use one for personal trainers. So I'm going to make it so that uh, I'm going to create a custom short code. So all they have to do is enter in bracket. Uh, if you look on the screen, I'll show you. All they have to do is in their back end, let's say they're on a post, all they'll have to do is enter in, you know, trainers. And this will automatically pull up a list on the home page. So like this, Jim, Bob, Gary and that's all their trainers. Obviously there's a lot more you can do with this, but this is just a basic example. I wanna show you how to get this functionality up and running. Okay, so I'll go ahead and delete this. And um, if you look over here, we're gonna go ahead and start coding. So we'll put a section in our functions.php file and we'll call it custom short codes. Okay, and now, what we're going to need to do is create the actual function itself. So we'll say function trainer uh, trainer profiles. All right, and this is just going to be a basic PHP function. Let's say trainers equal. We'll just create a list. Uh, ideally, you would want to pull this information probably from an API or um, generate it some uh, another way somehow but this is just an example so i'm just going to put this little array here let's say these are all your trainers so we'll say for i equals zero i is equal to less than or equal to two and i plus plus okay so what this does is this loops um, zero through I, or zero through two. I'm gonna say echo trainers. Uh, so this will loop through this whole entire array and it'll print out each one. Okay. Uh, and then we gotta add a space after that, after each name, otherwise it'll all be clumped together. Okay, so we have a basic function there, and now to add a short code so that your client can easily access this function, you're going to say add underscore short code, and you say trainers. This is what you, this is a key word that they're going to put in order to generate this function. So trainers, and then you're going to say the name of the function. So we named it trainer profiles. Okay. And just like that, and trainers update. There we go. Our trainer, Jim, Bob, and Gary. Now, ideally, obviously, there's a lot you would want to do to this. So, just for example, um, we'll say, you know, div class equals, oh, whoops div class equals you know, call dash small dash uh, wait. let me uh, single quote there so I can put the class in double quote class equals call dash small dash four okay and then there. Okay. And we'll even put it, you know, uh, well. There we go. So now you have, you know, three trainers, and they're all loaded from this function right here, and they're easily accessible by this quick little custom shortcut. All right, so that's the video, and that's the end of the series. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, if there's any 
any kind of requests you have, any questions you have about anything, please let me know in the comments down below. I will make sure to try and make a video about it um, or just answer it if I can in a quick sentence or two. I'll be posting this code down below as well so you'll have access to that. If you like the video, make sure you like it, share it, subscribe to me for some more awesome development videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.